Hey everyone, and welcome back. Um, a little bit of a different video here today. Uh, this is not a sponsored video. This is actually a video request from one of my Patreon patrons. Um, I spend a lot of time looking through flash deals and stuff like that on AliExpress and Banggood, and the suggestion was made uh, to bring you guys along for the ride. I think this is going to be a little bit more of like a discussion thing. I'm going to go over the flash deals, uh, see what's interesting. I might put some affiliate links in the description so you go check them out uh, yourself. Uh, that's how the channel makes a little bit of money. But this is more like looking for deals. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to click the flash deals. Now, unfortunately, if you click an individual item, it just brings you to the flash deals page instead of, you know, that items page. So we'll have to go through it one by one. So there's three categories that we're uh, interested in, at least that I'm interested in. Uh, you guys can let me know if there's different things you like, but uh, tools, scientific uh, and industrial, electronics and toys, hobby and robot, sometimes lights and lighting and sometimes the auto and motorcycles. But we're going to start with these three and see what happens. So here we go. All right, first and foremost, we're going to start scrolling down and take a look here. Uh, a lot of woodworking things. Oh, so this is pretty neat. A MPPT charge controller. Going to go down a little bit more. Silicone wires, decent deal. That's good. Um, yeah, this. Okay, we'll talk about that. Um, let's see, what else? And, oh, here we go. Grab a uh, CNC mill. Uh, crimping tools and let's see some of this I oh, will talk about this and this one and this one there we go so we got a few now uh, so first things first to note uh, sometimes the discount percentage is better or worse depending on which product you actually pick so if you go up you see 31 30 percent 60 percent or sorry, 29%, 28%. So sometimes the better deal is to be had um, depending on which, you know, rating you want. So we can go down here and we see this is a nice solar charge controller. So MPPT means maximum power point tracking. If you have a solar panel, this is probably the best way to get um, a perfect or, you know, as good charge as possible is to use an MPPT controller. What it'll do is it'll vary the load in order to get the most uh, total wattage out of it. So that's pretty neat. These things, I wouldn't buy them if they're not on sale um, because they go on sale so often. There's so many different brands. I would definitely buy them when they're on sale. Um, so yeah, so you got your solar panel, your battery, and your load. Some of the fancier ones have uh, two connections for the solar panel, two connections for the battery, and two for the load. That's not too bad. Banggood actually sent me an MPPT controller a little while ago, fancier than this one. Haven't got a chance to look at it yet because I haven't set my solar panels up outside. But yeah, when these things go on sale, that might be a good idea. Wiring. Um, yeah, copper is extremely expensive right now. The problem with buying um, wire online is you can't be sure that they're actually going to be copper. They might be uh, copper coated aluminum. So for most things in your workshop, that's totally fine. It'll work 100% fine. But if you need a thick gauge wire, you're basically, it's a false economy. You need a lot thicker of a wire in copper coated aluminum or just aluminum than you would for copper. So you gotta be careful with that. Um, can check the reviews, but a lot of people don't like slice into the wire. Might do um, a comparison. I think I might have the same gauge of copper coated aluminum and copper, and we can do some testing on it. But yeah, as long as, you know, sometimes it's just, you see uh, silvery on the, on the outside. It could just be tinned copper. So, it doesn't necessarily mean it's aluminum, but yeah, just be careful with that. So this is two meters for $2.45. That's not bad, but you know, the shipping 
right now AliExpress's shipping is through the roof, and you know, uh, Banggood, their shipping usually is very reasonable. And again, the um, it'll depend on which wire gauge you pick to get the you know the the percentage. But if I'm looking here, 14 gauge and 20 gauge are roughly the same price. You know, obviously 20 gauge, uh, 14 gauge would be better if you're looking to, for more, you know, current. So yeah, same price. So that might be a good time to pick up some wire. This here, be very careful. Uh, there is no chance in hell that this solar panel is going to output 250 watts. A 250 watt solar panel is huge, like uh, probably about four feet by eight feet, like big. So this, you know, don't believe these these ratings. Uh, the 60 amps is talking about probably the maximum output of the solar charge controller, like from the battery to the control to to the load. That is not talking about the solar panel itself. The solar panel itself, I bet you, I mean, this looks like a maybe a 20 watt panel. Uh, let's see if they actually say so. They probably don't. Um, voltage, short circuit current, 2 amps. Uh, maximum power supply voltage. Maybe this is what that means. A 6 volt panel? I don't think so. I don't think it's a 6 volt panel. Yeah, I'm not, uh, I would be very careful. I, I probably wouldn't, let's see, whoa, how much was it? $46? I probably wouldn't bother. Um, unless you're, you're needing to power something very small, I probably wouldn't even bother with this. Let me know in the comments below if you bought something like that. I, I did test on a panel very similar to this, maybe exactly this. And I, I mean, I wasn't able to get much. I'll put the link in the description. I actually tested this, this type of panel too. The mills. Now, there's two of them. Oops. Uh, this one and this one. I am looking for one of these mills. Uh, I'm going to try to get my contact at Banggood to um, to send me one, but you got to be careful. So here's, here's what happens. This is 169.44, and it ships from the U.S. Look at the shipping cost. 80 bucks Canadian, 169 bucks, you know, 170 bucks for the, the item itself. If I get it shipped from the U.S. here to Canada, I have to pay uh, import fees. I don't have to pay those import fees if I get them right from China. But if you switch it to China, it goes, goes up to almost full cost. So this wouldn't be worth it for me. It might be worth it for you if you're living in the States because the shipping will probably be a fraction of that. Uh, this is actually quite a nice... Uh, CNC router. This is like the, the go-to. The 3018 is the go-to beginner CNC router, basically. Um, but I was looking at this one. And honestly, if I had some extra pocket change, I would probably be picking that up. Because this is 215. I think it's 170 US or something, plus the $31 of shipping. But the, I probably won't have to pay taxes on uh, the importation, which is really good. So yeah, I've been wanting one of these uh, either to mill PCBs or just to mill stuff like to cut out pieces of wood or or whatever for different projects. But yeah, these things are freaking sweet. One day I will get one uh, shortly, but uh, you know I'll have to see what the what I have to see what the my Banggood contact says. I I don't think they'll send me this. I think it's a little bit too pricey, but. I mean, if you guys keep watching and you guys keep, um, you know, interacting with the videos, who knows? But yeah, if you want one of these, I recommend this one here because it is cheaper overall to get it sent from China. If you live in the States, though, uh, this one here might be the one for you. I'll leave all the links in the description. Crimping pliers. Um, if you don't have crimping pliers, then you probably should get some. I'm not sure that this is as good of a deal as it can get, though. I feel like um, these are 20 bucks and these are 6 and 6 I feel like you might be able to get this a little bit cheaper from AliExpress. I have these two kits here coming from AliExpress uh, in future mailbags. 
This does include a little bit of wire though. So I don't know. It's up to you. I think this deal is mild at best. I, I will put it in the description, but um, I'll also put where I found, you know, the ones that I got. And I mean, if not, you'll just have to wait for the mailbag because uh, I'm going to give them a try and make sure they're, you know, any good at all. Uh, kept on tape. So this is a wide kept on tape. It's uh, 50 mils wide. Uh, that's what, like about two inches wide. Uh, if you don't need the wide stuff, you can get it actually a lot cheaper on AliExpress. Just, you know, mind your, um, mind your shipping because the shipping has been a bit nuts. Um, kept on tape is just basically heat resistant tape. It does not burn. It doesn't melt. It just kind of like, I don't know, crumbles. Uh, when it gets really, really hot. So I would recommend every electronics hobbyist have some of this. I'm not sure if this is the best deal, but definitely you should have some kept on tape. It's poly polyamide. That's the, that's the non-brand name version of it. Next is these uh, portable hot tweezers. I was looking at these. Th this is interesting to me, oh, but again, it's not on sale in uh from china only from the u.s so my u.s um uh, people could probably get some basically this is um like a set of two soldering irons put side by side and they have you know the soldering tips this would be great for desoldering like smd components so if there's expensive SM smd components you can go ahead and remove them like that it's a little bit gimmicky. It's the sort of thing that if you think, if you know you'll need it, you'll need it. But other than that, you probably won't. But it's interesting nonetheless. So I'll put it on my wish list. And last in this category, um, this combo soldering station. I'm actually interested. See, I have put it on my wish list. Actually, 22,000 people put it on their wish list. Let's see if I can get it from China. Yeah, it's a bit more expensive, but can get it from China. So uh, this is a hot air and soldering iron combo. And I think the big deal for me is it uses the same plug. Um, I'm constantly switching between my, you know, both my tools, my soldering iron and my heat gun. Um, this would be better. Plus it hangs up on the wall. Let me just check what kind of tips it takes because um, I would like to upgrade to a soldering iron that has the uh, thermal probe right in the tip built in. Uh, let's see. So it does work on mains over here. Uh, let's see if I can find the design. Because mine right now has the um, the Heiko style uh, tips so that the heater, the heater cartridge goes inside the tip. But some of the more modern designs have it all integrated, like all molded inside the tip, like not removable, uh, which I find is a lot better. Let's see. It's got little caps. Hmm. Don't know if they'll show me the replacement tip. Sometimes they do. I kind of feel like it'll have the Heiko type tips. It's like recycling the same image over and over. Hmm. Maybe I'll see what the reviews say. If you have one of these, let me know in the comments below what kind of tips they use. This is kind of like the research style I do. Just go and quickly click away. Yeah, I don't know. Nobody bothered. Maybe I should do some video reviews on this kind of stuff. All right, let's move on swiftly to um, Toys, Hobby, and Robot. I have been taking a lot of time here. Let's see. So this is, I actually wanted to select this one because of this here. I'm considering buying that. I'm going to talk about that in a moment. Let's see what else seems like a good deal here. I find lithium polymer batteries, which are very expensive to ship because they can't be shipped by plane. For some reason, um, Banggood's uh, shipping is not any higher on them. And the prices are good when they're on the flash deals. Let's see. Anything else 
very interesting here. So if you're looking to do some uh, RC projects, this might be good for you. 45 bucks is pretty cheap for the combo. And 50 for a upgraded version. Yeah, not not too much. Not too much here. These guys. Wow, this is a 540. This is the same size as those two, but higher quality. Nope, it seems like this was the wrong category to pick. All right, we'll talk about these two things and could probably end it here. So um, I'm doing a lot of RC projects, right? Some of them, um, you know, would be interesting to get a first person look through. And so there's this kit here. So 5864, it comes with a camera that you mount onto your um, RC. So for me, it would be the snow speeder at the moment, then maybe the boat in summer. You plug that into a little battery. And then this here is a screen mounted inside of a visor. So you can actually see what's going on from this camera. So basically the snow speeder, you could sit in the car on a cold day and have a blast in the snow, but you'll be warm because you know, it'll be you're, you'll be in the car. And the bonus with this is it has a DVR. So it actually records. So as a YouTube creator, I could show you my feed from this thing. So I'm really considering getting this, but you know, it's a bit expensive. I have the parts to build my own here, but it would just take a while because I have to design the housing and make it comfortable and buy foam and stuff like that. So it's just an idea. Um, next thing is the motor and speed controller combos. Again, they're kind of expensive when they're not on sale, but when they're on sale, it's the time to grab them. 540 size is about what you want. So the 540, they also call them 3650, I believe, or something like that. You want the uh, speed controller and the motor. Well, you need both because they're brushless motors. Uh, these things, they have a surprising amount of power. So this is a kind of a lower end one. This is a slightly higher end one. And I would definitely recommend you pick up something like this if you're planning on emulating the kinds of projects that I do here. I think this has gone on long enough. Let me know what you think of this format. Um, I will put the um, links in the description. If you want to help out the channel by buying stuff through the links, it costs you nothing extra, but it helps out the channel um, not only by you know giving me a tiny little bit of uh, revenue, but it'll also tell Banggood that it's a good idea to keep sending me stuff, which I think is more important than the one or two dollars because then it opens up, um, you know, the possibility to make review videos, which uh, also brings more people to the channel. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.